Get ready for a force of nature this spring. A brood of cicadas will emerge, treating us to their cacophony of love. It's a sound you'll hear a lot of this spring when millions of the big-eyed insects emerge. It's time for a special brood of cicadas, and they're different than the ones you see each summer. We do have annual cicadas, which are out every year. Their, their buried nymphal cycle is only one or two years. And those are the ones you'll hear in July and August singing up in the trees. But the cicadas you'll see this spring are a different species. They're periodical cicadas, and they only come around once every 17 years. As babies, they spend all of their time underground, feeding, burrowing tunnels, and biding their time. But after 17 years passes and the weather warms, out they come in numbers that can boggle your mind. There are records of a million and a half per acre in places where they're really dense, but there'll be pockets of them in giant concentrations. They'll attach themselves to the nearest tree, and the males will make that all too familiar sound. It's their cat call to attract the ladies. The males, when they find a female who seems interested, they have a, a different call that they shift to, to a courtship call, and the females will do little clicky, flicky noises with their wings if she's receptive, you know, so there's a whole mating behavior going on. Their main purpose is to mate and then die. They won't hurt you, they don't sting, they don't bite, they're perfectly harmless. Little love bugs are just looking for a little companionship. They're only around for about a month or so. In the meantime, the birds, fish, and other insects will gorge on them, a virtual bug buffet. For all the ones that don't get gobbled up and successfully mate, all their little babies will burrow underground and we'll see them again in 2036 as the cicada cycle continues.